Hi, this is Gene from iFixSmartphone.com. Today I'm going to talk about uh, determining if your iPhone charging IC is better or not. Uh, I got this phone right here. Um, it's fully charging, but sometimes if you use the uh, non Apple cables, say uh, non uh, MFI certified cables, there are times that the uh, <coughs> those cables actually will make the phone go bad. Uh, this phone was brought in here saying the uh, it doesn't charge, uh, but however, with our uh, authentic uh, Lightning cable, it just charges fine um, because we do have all these uh, MFI certified cables, and I'm pretty sure the customer does not have the MFI cables. That's why the phone doesn't charge um, with these cables. Um, usually, that's because of the cable that makes the uh, you know. I don't know what it does, but it just uh, puts too much current to the phone, puts too much stress on the charging IC, that makes the charging IC go bad. <clears throat> so, um, in order to determine that, we have this uh, U2 so called TriStar charging IC tester. And, uh, you know, the uh, charging port has eight pins in it. So, we can read those pins um, in the diode mode. Uh, so, to get the reading, and we find out whether if the port is bad or uh, the charging IC is bad or not. So what we do is we put the, uh, the tester in the port and then we get the multimeter out and uh, we just read the uh, readings of the each pin. So number 8 pin is a ground so we'll put the uh, red probe on the number 8 and then we'll read uh, every pin and uh, once we see immediately we see the um, number one pin pin number one shows a negative like 550 whatever the numbers and two three shows no more numbers uh, four is an open line so it, it's not gonna read anything but five is negative six and seven is showing positive numbers and what we want is we want all positive numbers from one through seven except number four so this is indicating this phone has a problem well, with the charging port. To compare that, we got this iPhone 10 here, and we're gonna measure the uh, charging port at the same way. And let's see what it shows. So number one shows, uh, you can see it's a positive number, 278. Number two is fine, three is fine, four is open. 5 is also 278, 6, 7. There's all positive numbers. So that's actually the numbers we're looking for. So uh, from the uh, the other iPhone 6 that customers complain it doesn't charge, does have a problem on pin number 1 and 5 and we usually find those pin number 1 and 5s are related to the uh, TriStar or the U2, so called U2 on an iPhone 6. So what we got here, we took the board out we got it on the working bench and we have uh, you know we're showing you the location of the U2 chip and all we have to do is we have to uh, remove the chip and replace it and most likely they will take care of the uh, issue that we are facing here okay okay so we are gonna remove the uh, the TriStar and make sure those uh, you know comes off nice and easy make sure the pads are clean nothing is pulled off so everything looks pretty good and we got the new chip we replacement chip because we don't want to be using those old chips because we know those chips are bad so we got the new chip and replace it and <coughs> go through the all the steps backwards and all this process is widely available on uh, any online tutorial so <clears throat> I just you know fast forwarded the whole process so just replace it replace the whole pad make sure it's in the right correction um, right direction make sure nothing else is disturbed once that's done we just assemble make sure everything's back in place and we turn it on turn the phone on and we just test it so phone is ready and this time let's see the difference using the uh, the tester so we're gonna get the 
test her out, put in the port, do the same thing. And read, read the same pins again, see if that made any difference. And you can see pin number one is 248, it was minus 550, something like that. Two, three is good, four is open, five is 248, six, seven, so good. So this means this phone now will take all the charges from using any other cables again. But just be, be careful that when you're using this non um, MFI certified, certified cables, you know, those like $5 cable that you get it from gas station, they will make this you know phone go bad again. So I want you, want you to be aware of that. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, drop us an email. Our website is ifixsmartphone.com and thanks for watching the video. Bye-bye.